So my question is, uh, after all these years of the action movies that were in, uh, during the Soviet period in our country and in America, the uh, plot of the film uh, still goes again after the Russian uh, secret services. So how are you about this thing? Uh, did you want to change it maybe somehow? And how was it uh, for you in uh, the situation now <laughs> to play such a role? Do you want to play something else maybe? Thank you. Um, no, I mean, we chose this uh, material with the intention and the hope of having a franchise. I think that's what every actor worth his salt wants at some point. Um, and the material by Bill Granger is very fertile for that. Relativity have asked us to deliver the next the November Man. And <clears throat> uh, what was the other part of the question? <coughs> Uh, do you want to play something else? I want to play something else. Um, well, yes, I, I think I have played uh, a few other things, from musicals like Mamma Mia uh, to smaller dramas. Uh, I just finished a film in Paris where I was playing Louis XIV, so you'll see that sometime next year. And, uh, yeah. um, Уважаемые коллеги, пожалуйста, передайте микрофон юноше в сером. Добрый день, меня зовут Павел, представитель телеканала «Пятница». Мистер Бронс, какую бы роль вы ни играли, вас все равно влюблены все женщины на планете, в том числе наши российские гражданки, Джеймс Бонд или фильм «Человек ноября». В чем секрет? Вот, нас тоже должны так любить, молодых. Поделитесь секретом. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Be sincere. Be straightforward. And um, I don't know. Long may it last. I've had a great time as an actor, um, playing the roles from Remington Steele to you name it. Um, I wanted to be an actor. I loved movies. When I left Ireland at the age of 11, and went to London. The first movie, the first weekend I was there was Goldfinger, and I was enthralled by the cinema. I wanted to be up there on that screen. And, you know, be careful what you wish for. I, I, I wished for this, I wanted this world, this life, making movies. And so, you get it, get on with it, give it away, celebrate it. It's, uh, I have nothing but gratitude for my days of playing James Bond. It's been the gift that keeps giving. Without James Bond, you wouldn't be, you know, we wouldn't be here talking about November Man. So everything has a consequence, and um, you know, it's, it's it's work. It's constant work. Nothing comes from nothing. It's all about doing and making movies and acting is is um, about having a dream, like Bo and I, forming a company, and making 10 movies. Um, and you want them all to be great, you want them all to make money, but it doesn't normally, it doesn't happen. They don't come around that often. Um, Sidney Pollack said that to me, the late Sidney Pollack, when we were at the Deauville, Deauville Film Festival. He'd just seen uh, the Thomas Crown Affair, and he said, enjoy it. They don't come around that often, and it's true. But um, I think in this moment of time, both Bo and I are very proud of what we've achieved in the space and time of making The November Man. Пожалуйста, джентльмен в черном пиджаке на шестом ряду. А, меня зовут Александр Коленко, телеканал «Юнит Ньюс». А, большая честь присутствовать здесь. Вопрос такого содержания. А, была ли какая-то реакция от а, Дэниела Крейга, а, нынешнего исполнителя роли Джеймса Бонда, по поводу того, что вы фактически отбили у него его гелл Ольгу Куриленко? И а, каково вообще было работать на площадке с нашей российской кроссовкой? Спасибо. Well, I love Olga. Uh, I think she is a young woman and an actress who's just going from strength to strength. 
It takes time to, to be an actor. Uh, I think it was Sir Anthony Hopkins who said it takes 20 years to make an actor. And in some, there is some truth in that. So Olga was someone who Bo and I had both seen in a movie called The Hitman. And we wrote this part for her. It was built around Olga. And she's so beautiful on screen, she's captivating, and she plays with such, such heart and strength of femininity and, and courage. So, uh, you know, it was a joy to work with her every day, and I'm just sorry she can't be here with us today. She said to say to you that she was very sad not to be here and really wanted to come be part of this, so, last night, so, just so you know. Дорогие друзья, пожалуйста, еще вопросы. Будьте любезны, передайте девушке на втором ряду микрофон. Затем мужчине в клетчатой рубашке. Следующий вопрос. Пожалуйста. Добрый день, я представляю газету «Москолоджи» Елена Балачкова. Я хотела бы вас спросить, Пирс, хотели бы вы сыграть какого-то русского героя из нашей классики? Если бы вам поступило такое предложение, то кто бы это был? Classics. Chekhov. I, I, I love the plays of Chekhov. Uh, I actually played Fischina uh, in The Three Sisters. Uh, if that's any relevance to your question at all. Uh, and actually, I did a movie called The Fourth Protocol with Michael Caine years ago, and I played a Russian in that. Some idea. I've actually thought about making films. Bo and I have talked about doing films of, of Chekhov. I had a deal a long time ago at Columbia Studios, the producing deal. They gave me a little cottage, and I was sandwiched in between Cher on one side and Madonna on the other. And I used to go up to the executives with ideas of making films of Chekhov's plays. Didn't go anywhere. Спасибо большое. Думаю, что фанатов у этой идеи увидеть вас в фильме по Чеху сейчас только что прибавилось на несколько десятков человек. Может быть и сотен, потому что нас смотрят онлайн. Пожалуйста, ваш вопрос. Максим Марков, Ридус. Вы сыграли в фильме, в котором российские солдаты убивают чеченских мирных жителей. А сейчас сидите в форпосте российской пропаганды. Нет ли в этом какого-то противоречия? Сильно. Well, there appears to be. Uh, we wrote this story three years ago. Uh, we bought the, we auctioned the book five years ago. Uh, so it's just a confluence of time that uh, we have uh, this movie coming out and the, uh, the issues of politics and what's happening in the Ukraine and this movie, it was, it was not our intention, but uh, it's just the way it is. And uh, it is a deeply heartfelt moment in history. For, for you all here, and for people back in America as well, to see what's going on. But, um, I would hope for peace. I would hope that things will get resolved. Our movie is a fabrication of, of storytelling. And, uh, something which is built for entertainment. And, Пожалуйста, передайте микрофон девушке на... Да, вот, вот. Возьмите, пожалуйста. Здравствуйте. Александр Рябов, НТВ. Скажите, пожалуйста, Пирс слышал в одном интервью, что вам не нравится играть в неуязвимых героев. Вы всегда стараетесь не делить их какими-то слабостями или недостатками. Скажите, пожалуйста, у вашего героя с человека ноября какая, какая есть слабость и 
э, очень интересно, есть ли у вас какая-то слабость, от которой вы тоже не хотели избавиться. The weaknesses of Peter Devereaux are kind of complex. He's a man that's been maligned and mangled somewhat by his own superiors within the world of uh, espionage. He's somebody who has retreated away from the world. And he is a man that is quite, uh, quite tortured and angst-ridden by the deeds that he has performed in the line of duty for his country. So that appealed to me very much. Uh, and the, the writing of Bill Granger has a wonderful complexity of character, which intrigued both Bo and myself. And there was just, you know, there's, there's work there that you can sink your teeth into. Uh, as far as my own weaknesses, I don't wish to kind of voice them here on the world stage, so to speak. I'll keep them to myself. Пожалуйста, ваш вопрос. Добрый день, меня зовут Ирина, я представляю канал РБК. У меня такой вопрос. Недавно в Москве были Микки Рурк и Стивен Сигал. Если верить, верить американским изданиям, американский госдеп потом отчитал актеров за поездку в Россию. Вы не боитесь подобной негативной реакции? Спасибо. I have no fear of that criticism. No. Um... I'm here to celebrate the movie. I'm very proud of this film. And uh, our association with uh, our co-producers has been very, uh, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. So uh, it's taken me a long time to get to Moscow. I never got to come here as James Bond, but uh, I'm very proud and happy to be here to celebrate this movie as the November Man. Спасибо, пожалуйста. Uh, Gracias.